That was a firecracker. Set! Woo! Good job! <laughs> sold some of my boutique items so if you didn't know I used to be a boutique owner and I still have thousands of dollars worth of inventory left over and it's all down at my mom's salon so let's go get it if I could unlock the door. I'm in the process of remodeling right now, so it's a little bit dirty in here. So the stuff is set up in here for my mom's customers to shop, like when they come in or leave or whatever. And sometimes items sell and I don't always know about it, or I can't find it, or it didn't get taken out of inventory properly. So, like right now, the jacket that I'm looking for is not here. <sighs> I'm so frustrated with myself right now, mostly. But that is like the fifth time this week that I have had to cancel an order because something that was sold in the salon didn't get taken out of inventory properly or the inventory count wasn't correct. So I had to cancel the order, which freaking sucks. Um, I had to do that earlier today as well because one of the items that I had sold on eBay but then I didn't see it and so then it sold on Poshmark as well so I had to cancel the eBay or the Poshmark order because the eBay order was first so frustrating that is one downfall of cross listing even though I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons but you have to be on top of it to prevent this from happening I can't win for anything today get home to start packing up my orders so I went to grab a pair of my son's pants that had sold and noticed there was a hole in them that I hadn't noticed before so I just canceled that order too so because of my two canceled sales all I have to ship are these leggings today so one order is better than none I should also clarify I do have an eBay sale but I'm still waiting on the payment for those so, until she pays, I can't ship them. I really need to... I really need to change it. I really need to change my listings to have instant payment required. Today is Thursday, July 30th, and my mailman just came, and look what he brought me. A fanny pack. Hell yeah. I am taking my oldest son school shopping next week, and we're going to hit up the bins since it's about three hours away, um, and so that's where we have to go to go school shopping is in the city, and it takes about two hours to get to where we usually go, but the bins are three hours away, and we only have one in our whole state, so we're going to hit it up, and I'm going to have my baby with me, so I'm going to be carrying, wearing him, and so I thought I definitely need a fanny pack. So we shall see how it goes. I'm excited to hit up the bins and see what we can find. Hello, today is July 30th and I am just now getting ready to pack up all my orders. All the two that I have. Um, I generally pack my orders at night, like before I make dinner or while I'm making dinner. Just that way I can do it all at once and then I kind of stop at, you know, once I'm done. And anything that comes in, if I have time, I'll pack it up. But if not, then it waits till the next day so that I can just do everything all at one time. So I'm just going to show you what sold today. If I didn't already say, it's July 30th. So, um, first of all, I got these throwback to the 90s. Um, volatile platform sandals. So they have the denim, or denim straps and then they're star studded. And these things are thick, like three and a half inches almost. Um, I found these at our one of our local thrifts for three dollars. 
Um, when I was researching them, there was a pair exactly like that on Poshmark that had sold for 85, but they were brand new with the box. So, I mean, these ones are still in really good condition, but I just thought that $85 was maybe a little high. So I listed them for 35 on Mercari. I like to just list everything on Mercari and then copy and paste everything from there. I don't use any sort of cross-listing service. So I just do it all manually on my phone for the time being, sometimes on the computer. Um, so I had it up on Mercari for like maybe three hours and somebody had sent me an offer for 27. I listed them for 35 and somebody had sent me an offer for 27. And then he also asked if I had any more platform sandals and I said no. So then he said, is the price negotiable? And I said, well, where I've only had it up for a couple hours, I'm gonna hold out for my price and if they don't sell within a week then I will send you an offer and he just said nope I'll just go ahead and buy them so he just bought them for full price so they sold within a couple hours so if you come across any platform sandals I highly recommend picking them up and again this brand is volatile and then the other pair is another pair of sandals so I'm sorry that you're like being blinded by the light over here um, these vintage faded glory sandals from the 90s, Hala 90s kids. Who had these sandals? Me. I sure did. So when I found these at our new thrift store, I was like, what? So they are in like excellent condition. I mean, they have been worn, but there's like no, there's no wear on the heel or on the toe. There's no drag marks on the toe. There's like barely an imprint of a foot inside there um, and if you had these like these suckers are heavy these weigh like five pounds um, and so I was just super pumped to hold or I mean to get these so I paid four dollars for these I couldn't really find them listed anywhere else not these exact ones I found some other similar ones and they were listed like around the $30 area so I posted them for sale for $30 and then I got an offer of $20 on eBay and so I just decided to go ahead and accept the offer because that was already five times my money so I was doing fine. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna pack those up and throw them in my mailbox. Happy Thursday. Okay, I have a little tip for you. So you all I'm sure are aware that you cannot ship USPS through UPS, right? It's illegal to do that. But if you have a USPS box and you have a bag that's big enough to fit the box in, you can stick the USPS box into the bag and then stick your UPS label on the bag and ship it like that. So just a little hack for you. While I was packing those other two orders, I had another order come in, so I'm just going to pack it up real quick while I'm making dinner. It's these leopard crocs that I picked up at one of our thrift stores for two bucks. Listed them for 20 and they sold for 20 So don't sleep on the crocs. Hello. Today, oh my gosh, okay. You know, I need to invest in like a phone holder or something. Okay. So I'm in my little baby's room because him and my husband are sleeping in the front room. And so today is July 31st and I'm going to be showing you things that sold for me between last night when I was done packing up my orders and today so far. It's about 4 o'clock right now. So I've actually got 7 orders so far so that's super exciting. Better than my 1 yesterday and my 3 from the other day. So up first is this element skateboard backpack so if you haven't seen these before like um the skateboard clips in right here on the front and then they can put the bag on their back obviously um, i picked this up at our thrift store for two dollars and i sold it for 10 on ebay um i think part of my problem and this is a tip for you is to always double check the spelling in your listing i had put skateboards backpack instead of skateboard backpack and when I realized it I already had a bid on it so I couldn't go in and change like update the spelling of it so that was annoying but whatever I still made five times my money before fees so it's all good but if you see these 
pick them up. Okay, I actually sourced this yesterday and it sold this morning. So it is, the brand is called Bump in the Night and it's just this navy blue maternity robe. It's long sleeve, it's long, it's incredibly soft, very, very, very soft. Um, and it has pockets and little cuff details and then of course like the tie waist. And things like these, I, I normally don't look at the pajama section or like the robes or anything like that, but I just happened to be standing there and was like, hey, what's this? So I swiped through the rack and I found two maternity robes. It's navy blue, so is the other one. Um, and so yeah, I mean, these, these were, I paid $2 and sold it for $16 on Mercari. Okay, up next is this little snowman plate. I got this maybe three weeks ago at a yard sale for 10 cents. I listed it for $10 and sold it for seven yesterday. Nope, it was this morning. Mm, yeah, it was this morning for $7 on Mercari. I took an offer of $7. So just this cute little guy. Okay, and then last night on Kittizen, I got a notification that this girl had added these shoes to her cart, and then you have the option to send them an offer once somebody adds something to their cart, but it was late at night, and so I thought, I'll wait until morning, and if she hasn't purchased, then I'll send her an offer. So um, when I woke up this morning, I saw that she had already placed the order, so I didn't even need to worry about sending an offer. So it's this brand new in the box. I actually haven't even opened them. I just barely ripped the sticker off of it. Um, so they are these snakeskin Dr. Scholl's like platform wedge sandals. I sourced these. I do a little online retail arbitrage. Source these on the Dr. Scholl's website. I got them for $23 and sold them for $95. They retail for $125. So that was a killer deal. So after fees I made and shipping, I made like 60 bucks, which is great. Um, these are size nine and they're super cute, suede on the back. So yeah, that was a good deal. And I also used Rakuten on my purchase, so I got cash back from using that. So if you don't have Rakuten and you do any type of online shopping, it doesn't matter if you're sourcing or shopping for yourself, you need to use Rakuten. So I'll leave my link, my referral link in the description below. And if you use my link, then you will get a $10 welcome bonus after your first qualifying purchase. And a qualifying purchase is just a $25 order. So who doesn't do that? So. And then I've got two more things to show you. So the first thing is this Pocahontas VHS. Um, I'm trying to get into other categories and things, trying to learn what sells and for how much and how much you should pay for it and things like that. Our local thrift has a whole bunch of VHS for 50 cents. So I just went through and picked up like 10 of them. Um, that I thought were like in good condition, good movies, things that I liked as a kid. And then I also paid attention to the, um, whatever this, the binding, I don't know if that's like on a book, but whatever this part is called. And I got things, I got the black diamond ones. Um, and then I got like some masterpiece collection ones. So this one is a masterpiece collection. I don't know if it makes any sort of difference because I've listed them all and this is the only one that I've sold so far. So um, I sold this on eBay for 99 cents. I paid, again, paid 50 cents. So I probably, after fees, only made like 20 cents on it. So I probably will stop sourcing VHS unless I know beforehand that it's in a really good one and that it will go fast. On Mercari, a lot of VHS seems to go for like $5 free shipping and I had them all, I have them all listed for $5 free shipping on Mercari, um, but so far no bites. I've got some likes and lots of views, but nobody's purchased anything. So on eBay, I just did them for an auction of 99 cents and then the buyer pays shipping. That's how this sold. And then 
The last one is another item that I sourced yesterday in the same place that I got that robe. It's this Hallmark gift book. It's a recordable storybook. These things are super cute. My my son's grandma gave him one a couple of years ago for Christmas. So it's just a book and you record the book. So you hold down the button and then um, you read each page and while you're recording and then the child can press play and they can listen to you record the book uh, or listen to you read the book sorry these things are super cute and it looks like there's a couple other different styles this is the one that my son has this guess how much i love you one or all the ways i love you um so yeah definitely don't pass on these i got this for one dollar and i listed it for 25 free shipping and took an offer of $20 free shipping and that was all like within three hours so don't pass on these okay so I think that's it for today now I'm gonna go pack those up and shove them in my mailbox and schedule a USPS pickup for the morning so that he can grab these shoes and yeah we have my husband's company party tonight so looking forward to eating some good food and it always tastes better when it's free for one and when you don't have to cook it, right? So have a good night, guys. Have a happy Friday, even though it's probably not Friday when you're watching this. Bye. Hi guys, today is Sunday, August 2nd. So I'm showing you what sold yesterday and today. So I'm gonna be shipping it out, so or packing it up so I can ship it out tomorrow. Okay, so there are these, they're in excellent condition, like hardly worn at all and there's like barely even a toe mark in in right here so I picked these up at one of our thrift stores for six dollars I listed them for between 25 and 30 depending on the platform and they sold for $24.99 on eBay so there's those they're super cute I thought they're my size so if they don't sell I'll keep them because my favorite color is red another item are these black Danner boots so these are like police boots um, or like just like a really heavy duty men's boot. So I saw these at a yard sale um, and they, sorry, my gosh, there's a rock underneath my foot. They were $3 and they're like in really great condition. There's a couple scuffs like right here on the toe and like maybe some right here on the heel. But I mean, the tread there's still tons of tread left. Like the tread doesn't look like it's ever even been worn outside hardly. So um, I learned from Renzi that anything that says Gore-Tex on it, Gore-Tex is gold, is something that they always say. So I picked these up because I know I have seen them pick up Danner boots before. So then they zip on the inside right here and these are a size men's 11. Um, so yeah, they were going like above $50, some for over 100 so I listed them for $75 and took an offer of $60 on Mercari. And then the next item, this is something that my mom gave me because she didn't ever wear it. Um, so it is new without tags. It's this black tank top and then the back of it is distressed. It's just a Route 21 brand, so nothing high end. But I listed this on eBay and did like a 99 cent auction for it and it sold for five dollars and eighty cents um and then the next two are like senegence products so i used to have a boutique and so like an actual store and so i had some lip scents and some senegence products on the counter and so i'm just trying to get rid of whatever i have left so this color is beige champagne and i sold it for the best offer of 16.99 on ebay and then same with this. This is um, the shadow scent. So it's the amethyst color. It's purple. Uh, this is just the eyeshadow. Um, and I sold this for the best offer of $10. They're normally $22 and the lipstick is normally $25. So, I mean, whatever. I'm just trying to get rid of them. They're paid for at this point. So it's all good. And then the last thing that I've got is this darling little dinosaur jacket that my baby never wore because when he was this size it was hot outside and so yeah he never was able to fit into it so it's brand new with tags it's actually part of a set but he wore the the short sleeve shirt and the pants so I was just selling the jacket by itself and this sold for seven dollars on Mercari so 
So anyways, now I'm going to pack these up and I will see you in another video next week. It's 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday night and I still haven't done my shipping yet and I had two more orders come in so let me show you what those are real quick. Two boutique items. So one of them being this hat. It's like tweed and with the big rhinestone embellishment right here and then it's brown in the back with thick stitching. I've had this forever so I'm so glad to finally see it go to a good home because I love it. And the second thing is just a black long sleeve cardigan. You know, it's really hard to tell with this lighting. Are you about to get my... Um, but it has pockets and yeah, you can't even see it. But it's just a black long sleeve cardigan with pockets. Nothing special. But again, I've had that for a long time. I My boutique closed like... Gosh, it's probably been two years by now. So... It's nice to finally like get that stuff pumping out. So anyway, have a good night. So that sums up my what solds for the last week. I plan on doing these every week for the week. Um, so it'll go from Sunday to Saturday. And, but this time I'm just playing catch up since this is my first video. And so be sure to check out my other thrift haul video and my last what sold video. And please, I'm still learning this, please subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and tell your friends about it too if you're into reselling content. Um, so thank you all and have a great day.